Uh, Secretary of State Connie Lawson is in Evansville today. She's going around the state. And it's my pleasure to welcome her to Evansville. Uh, but we're here to talk about voting. Uh, the election is just about 100 days away or so, more or less. And uh, we thought it'd be a great opportunity to remind people of the importance of participating in the electoral process. A couple things to keep in mind. Uh, in Vanderbilt County, we have voting centers. And voting centers make voting very, very convenient. Uh, you don't have to go to one particular place. All you need is a picture ID and that uh, you can get in to vote whatever, wherever you want. And uh, we're, Vanderbilt County is one of a growing number of counties around the state that has voting centers. And Secretary of State Lawson can talk to you about how convenient they are. And uh, County Clerk Susie Kirk, County Clerk Susie Kirk, I love trying to get a lot of alliteration out there. Uh, happy to talk to you about uh, the vote centers here in Vanderbilt County. So, uh, Madam Secretary, welcome to Evansville. All right, thank you. Uh, thank you, Mayor. I'm very pleased to be here. Um, I have been traveling this state. Um, this is the 30th county that I've been in two since March the 16th. And we are uh, wanting to encourage folks to get out to vote. There are 4.4 million registered voters in the state of Indiana. And on primary election uh, day, we only had a 22% turnout. Uh, I will give Vanderburg County a uh, slight kudos in the fact that you did turn out 24%, I understand, uh, but your neighboring county, Warwick, was 10%, and Posey and Gibson were 16% turnout for the primary. So we're here today to encourage people to register to vote. Uh, you have until October the 9th to do so. And you can do that either at your county clerk's office. Uh, you can do that maybe if a candidate comes and knocks on your door that might have the proper forms and turns them into the clerk's office. Or you can go to indianavoters.com and register to vote there. And at that website, you can not only find get registered to vote, at which time you do that, you will receive a voter registration card here in Vandenberg County, and you will be told where the 23 vote centers are loca located, and you can vote at any of those 23 locations, which makes it very convenient, and I'm hoping that that convenience does encourage Vandenberg County voters to get out to vote. Um, on that Indiana uh, Voters.com website, you can not only register to vote, you can find out who the candidates will be on the ballot, and you can also find out who your elected officials are, and that's from federal, state, county, municipal, township, school board, all of those candidates uh, you can find out about on, uh, or excuse me, elected officials you can find out about on indianavoters.com. So with that, I would uh, turn it over to the clerk or to the mayor to talk a little bit more about your vote centers if, if they like, uh, except just to say that uh, military voters, again, I would very much encourage them not to forget the uh, absentee voting deadline. The registration deadline is October the 9th, like I said. Uh, the deadline to receive an absentee ballot in the clerk's office is November the 5th, and election day is November the 6th. So please, uh, turn out to vote. So, Susie? Well, not only do we have our 23 vote centers, but for those that are busy, election day, we also have the Vanderbilt County uh, Election Office that's open 30 days prior to election to vote. And also, our five libraries uh, within Vanderbilt County will be open 15 working days prior to the election. So again, be sure to bring your government issued photo ID with an expiration date. So you have different ways to vote, also by mail, uh, if you're 65 or older, going to be out of town. So there's numerous ways to vote. To, it's, it's very easy to do. So we encourage everyone to uh, get out, cast their ballot. If you're happy with the way everything is, don't do anything. If you want to make a difference, get out and vote. Thanks. When you compare the numbers for turnout to the last presidential election, how do they differ from the, in the general election that we just had in May. In other words, back four years ago, what, what was the turnout then? Don't have those stats. I wish I had them with me. But obviously, we had a, in 2008, we did have a very good turnout in the general election. I think it was around 60-some uh, percent. So we're hoping to hit that level here. Susie, do you remember what it was? In it was about 63 Six. percent, but you always have to remember really don't want to go by percentage of registered voters so much because of how many people that are registered now. Uh, it's better to look at the vote totals from 2004 to 2008. 
but any way you look at it, we will talk about it. And, and, you know, we'll have an active, we, we're sure we'll have a more active uh, presidential general than we had a, a presidential primary, uh, just because uh, the, the Republican presidential race was already decided by the time Indiana, you know, had their primary as well as the Democrat candidate was decided as well. So, um, but here in Vandenberg County, you've got lots of uh, contests and also a referendum on the ballot, and I would expect that you would have a good voter turnout. When, when you look at the, the lower turnout over, over recent years and recent decades, there, there are some states like Washington State is implementing a system where you can register to vote by Facebook. Are is, is there other things that the state of Indiana are doing to make things more social media friendly, more modern for the younger generation? I picked up on that Facebook uh, 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 notice as well that Washington State was doing that. In fact, I just met Kate Brown, who is the Secretary of State in Washington uh, just recently. And, um, you know, sure, those are lots of things that we can consider, but um, I believe it was in 2005 or 6 that as a state senator, I carried the legislation that allowed us to vote online. And I think the more we get the word out, because uh, it's so convenient for voters in order to be able to do that. And um, not only, as I said, to register to vote, but to find out who's on the ballot, where you go vote, and who your elected officials are. Well, what, what, what's the, going through and talking to people throughout the state, what do you, what, why do people not go out and vote? Well, I think it's a number of reasons. I think it's education. I think it's a lack of contests on the ballot, depending on the politics in the county, um, and, um, and convenience. And I think Vandenberg County has the um, uh, atmosphere here uh, setting up for the general election where the uh, turnout should be good, but we want to make sure it's as good as possible. Other questions? Mr. Yeah. May, how are you going to continue to, to encourage people to vote in Vandenberg County once Secretary Nelson said that? Well, I think it's partly and in, mostly incumbent upon the candidates who are on the ballot this year to engage the electorate to, to get, get out to vote. As the Secretary of State said, uh, I don't think we'll have that problem this fall in Vandenberg County given the number of local issues, given it's a presidential race, it's a gubernatorial, there's a gubernatorial race, and we have the referendum on consolidation. I think the consolidation issue alone will drive a lot of people to the polls. So I think this year, it's, uh, we're not gonna be, uh, we're not gonna have the difficulty getting people to vote this year as we have in the past, but I do think it's incumbent upon the candidates to, to really appeal to, to voters uh, to get out to, the, to vote. And we have so many ways to do it, early voting, uh, absentee voting, uh, the, 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 uh, the vote centers, um, there, there really is no excuse for not voting. Why do people find an excuse? I mean, what, what is it that voter apathy that people not feel like their vote makes a difference, do you think? Well, as the Secretary of State said, I think there are a number of issues. I think people uh, may not be educated. Uh, on either the, the issues or the, the candidates, uh, and some, it's, maybe it's just inconvenient for them. They don't, it's not a priority for them. So we encourage people to, to be engaged. Um, it, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's their right. A lot of people have fought, given their lives for this right, and it's important that people take advantage of it.